A Conferência do Clima da ONU no Dubai tem sido confrontada com diversos relatórios preocupantes sobre o estado do planeta e os esforços para travar o aquecimento global. O nosso correspondente na COP28, Jeremy Wilkes, resume-nos o problema. The Climate Action Tracker shows that no country around the world is actually on track to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions in order to meet the 1.5 degree target of the Paris Agreement. We also had the Global Carbon Project, which revealed that emissions in 2023 rose by 1.1% globally, over 8% rise in India. And we had the World Meteorological Organization's Decadal Review, which evens out all of the changes you may see because of La Nina or El Nino and it's a pretty bleak outlook for our planet. I spoke to the report author. We're seeing accelerating climate change across a uh, wide range of areas of the climate system. We see continuing increases in global temperatures. Uh, we see sea level rise happening at an increasing rate. We see ice sheet loss happening at an increasing light rate. Uh, yeah, we see the oceans uh, getting warmer and more acidic. So we're seeing changes uh, across uh, much of the climate system and they're generally changes which are not going in a good direction. In the face of such evidence, what we really need to do is to change the conversation, according to Bertrand Pica, the founder of the Solar Impulse Foundation. We need to show the solutions more than the problems. We need to show that decarbonisation has to be made through a profitable modernization of the countries by having more efficiency, stopping to waste energy and resources and polluting, but also stopping to waste money. So there is a climate urgency, yes, but there is an economic imperative that can probably be much more motivating for the world of economy, industry and politics. With those thoughts and those reports in mind, the big question now is whether, at the end of this conference, we will get an agreement to phase out fossil fuels. Jeremy Wilkes at COP28 in Dubai for Euronews.